Hey, it's Kite, and today I want to go over some of the new supplies that I got and start the first page of my sketchbook. I got these Arteza brush pins, which I didn't use, but I really should have. You'll see why later. Next we have an Etcher sketchbook. This is an A5 cold press. It was packaged amazing. It had all great reviews, so I really want to try it out. Next I have my iPad. I really like these composition book covers. I was going to use this for a reference photo and I wanted to show you guys these cool finds from Ikea. One to keep the iPad on for drawing and the other one's great for holding it up. Yeah, like that. And you can rest your headphones on it and they're just really cheap. Nice little pickup. Next I have the Arteza pencil case. I wasn't going to show inside but here we go. I got some new Trakel brushes to try out, some Prismacolor colored pencils. Um, lots of different pen choices, some Prismacolor markers, and here is my watercolor pan. It's from Hobby Lobby. I like it. I don't have any problems with it. I think all the colors are great, and this is for 20 bucks, yes. Then here's a collapsible water can. I love it. It's for traveling. You can rest your brushes on the ridges and masking fluid, which I've never used, but I would really like to use. Okay, so let's start our first page of the sketchbook. I know that's only as intimidating and people don't want to mess it up. And I did want to have a more rendered piece for the first page. And I really like the whole landscape perspective. And that's sort of the fun of using a sketchbook. So my idea was I saw on Etcher's page that they're from Australia. And with everything going on in Australia, I thought I'd like to make a really lighthearted piece that I can have like some fun with like putting these Ray-Bans on the koala and you know making them look cute and I thought if I did mess the mouse up, mouth up I could at least put a mustache on them so I put in my lines and I was pretty happy with how it came out so I went ahead and put the pen over it uh, I didn't put too much detail I like to put a lot more detail with the watercolors instead of with a lot of pen work especially in the beginning so I added my quokka in and the eucalyptus leaves and I wanted to put Australia here and block it in with sort of a sketchy look uh, just to balance out the picture next I'm trying out a mop I've never actually used one for how much watercoloring I've done so I was very excited to try it I personally didn't like this one. I preferred the one that comes in the watercolor set, but it's still new to me, so I'll keep trying it out. A lot of this is just me experimenting with the new brushes, so just kind of having some fun with it and just laying this color in, just getting, you know, a very light coat of gray so we can keep building it up and start putting some browns in with a smaller uh, pencil. Next, this is the mop that I preferred, the Onyx Quill Mop. That's one was very fun. It had a very nice feel. So now that we're building the koala up more, start laying in some blues and some different colors. And while he's drying, go back over the quokka and start putting some brown in. Uh, the reference picture I used for him was a little bit different. He had a different perspective than the koala, so he has a you know, he's kind of funky looking. <laughs> but they're kind of a funky looking animal. Now we start putting in the background. Uh, I really like this brush. I don't, I hardly ever use brushes like this, and it was really great for putting in like grass in the background. And I can tell for the styles that I would like to try out that are more blocky, this is going to be great. When I was looking up pictures of Australia, I found these really neat flowers that are just like these yellow balls. So I wanted to incorporate those in the picture. I absolutely love these little brushes. I use a lot of fine brushes for ink and just mixed media and I've never used one like that's higher quality so I could tell a difference immediately. Very fine lines, very easy to add sticks in and little tiny details. I really, really enjoy these.
just kind of quickly building up some of the landscape and now I'm going back over with the bigger details and putting you know the heavier color down and detailing out the Ray-Bans putting some gold down I'm coming back with the detail brush to do the lenses A lot of the most fun things to do in the painting obviously they come towards the end like getting to put all these twigs in and getting to highlight trying to bring a little bit more life into the flowers and I like to make these sort of designs in the background of my pictures I wanted to make a complementary color for the continent so I went over it with a marker. I thought that would make it more blocky and bold. Uh, then I was trying to watercolor and fill it in and it just wasn't mixing the way I had hoped. But that's part of the sketchbook is just exploring different things of what works and doesn't work. Now just laying some more shadows in and a little bit more details to Okay, so now that the koala is pretty much done and I'm happy with him where he is now, I go back over and work on the quokka and put his eyes on, his mouth, and just those details that you saved to do last. Go back over his ears, add some fur, I think for his sketchbook, just adding these variations of colors for, you know, just lines is more than enough. You don't have to fully render out fur in your sketchbook. Um, the white watercolor was a little bit difficult. I do wish I used in the acrylic ink for that or even a gouache. Um, I love to use the splatter effect. I think it adds a nice layer and it gives it a little bit more dimension to the piece. Now I peel off the tape. It's not cute washi tape, but it works great. It's never failed me. And just go back over the piece one more time with the pens and get any other detailing and sometimes the pens fade a bit after working watercolor on them it wasn't too bad but i do like to go back over it again might add some of those like extra shapes in the grass and get some of those last minute whiskers in artwork is never done but it is done when you decide I'm not going to work on it anymore so I went back in with my highlight which is the last thing I'm going to do I tried out the pens uh, acrylic inks definitely preferred definitely a lot more white but I think this worked fine for the sketchbook you can see the streaks on the glasses uh, I tried one more time with the colored pencil they did try an ink to outline the continent just to make it a bit more bold that's where I wish I used the Arteza real brush pens, but I did end up using gouache. I wasn't happy with the marker. And here's the final piece. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I would love whatever you'd like to suggest to start filling this book up with would be great.
and I wanted to show you guys one thing. It's not a big deal, but I was assuming when I bought the book that this was in the front, like as part of the page, but instead it was in the back in a pocket. And I don't know why. Every video I've seen, it's like part of the page, unless people are like gluing it down. But I thought that was kind of weird, but it's not a big deal. Like, it's totally fine, but I was planning, you know, while I was being delivered, like, oh, I'll build my first page around it. Um, not a big issue, just sort of strange. And yes, it has this band over it, and it lays really flat. The front page, it lays perfectly flat. The next page doesn't. I can crease it, but I don't want two creases through the koala. And you can see the way that only the marker leaked through, which I already regretted the marker, and of course that's what leaked through. But all the pages after that you can lay flat um it was really nice the weight of the paper i think is 200 pound and usually arches is 300 but it was like using arches paper and i know they make a sketchbook that is 300 but this worked fine and i think this is going to be great so i can't wait to work in it I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please like and subscribe and comment what else you would like to see. Thanks for watching.